Hey, my name is Petra, I'm a Hungarian living in Budapest and since November is here and so are the shorter and darker days, that means one thing, it's time to get cozier. And what else can be cozier than sitting at cute cafes and having some nice walk in Budapest under the falling leaves? So that's why in this video we're going to visit a few cafes and have some nice walk all around Budapest and you're coming along, so let's go! Our first destination was the Napochko Cafe, which in Hungarian means Little Sun. Imagine, this place was a newsstand before. This cafe was on my list for quite some time now. It opened at the beginning of September and this is literally the cutest cafe I've seen in a while. The Napochko Cafe has such a unique vibe, we really loved it and although the place really just is stand and that's all, you can still sit down on one of the small benches or you can just simply order a takeaway and walk around this area. The coffee was delicious and so was the donut that we ordered. The cafe is close to the Nugati railway station and it's next to the Lehel market hall so you can also grab some local goods but unfortunately it was closed when we got there. So this marketplace is a scam. Yeah it everybody. It's open till 4. It's not even 3 pm yet and it's literally shut down like completely. All in all, I really recommend it, even in the winter days, because the coffee will be a perfect hand warmer, that's for sure! Okay, let's go to our second location. place that we went to was a Frey Café. Frey Café is a Hungarian franchise that you can now find not only in Hungary but in France, Croatia, Switzerland or Slovakia. This chain has over 30 cafes in Budapest so you will definitely find one nearby. Frey Café is one of my favorite things in Budapest. It has so many specialties from all around the world. I really love to flip through their magazine and choose something unique. 
According to my online research that I forgot to try out live, you can ask for an English version of this cafe magazine because at the tables you can most likely find a Hungarian one. But since they start to become an international brand, I think you won't have any problems with ordering. I really recommend you this place and I hope you will like it just as much as I do. Now let's go and visit our third location. was the Stranger Cafe. This place has a 4.9 out of 5 rating on the Google Maps and after this visit we totally understood why. It's a charming little cafe with a friendly and very welcoming vibe. We totally loved it. And what's more, I think that I tasted the best cappuccino here in Budapest so far. It was creamy and very tasty. I'm sure that everything else is just as good here. So, if you're ever in Budapest, I really recommend you this cafe with my whole heart. 